Welcome to the Clark Planetarium and our science on the sphere. Today we have a fun lesson about our sun. Our sun is a star. Even though it looks very different from the other stars you see in the night sky. We see our sun during the day and it's a bright ball of light, so bright that we can't even look at it with our normal eyes. Um, but the stars we see at night and they're very small and dim. The sun is not the biggest star out there though. The sun only looks bigger because it's so much closer to the earth. There are stars that are gigantic compared to our sun, but they look very small because they are so far away. Uh, our sun may not be the biggest star, but it is the biggest thing in our solar system. We can look here and compare the size of our planets to our sun. Uh, if you look up there, you can see the third one from the left is our beautiful blue Earth. Uh, it's just a tiny blue dot compared to the sun. If you lifted off the top of the sun and scooped it out like a pumpkin, you could fit over a million Earths in the sun. Uh, it would take thousands of all the planets put together to equal the mass of our sun. The sun gives off all of the wavelengths of light. There's the kind of light that we see, uh, there's the wavelength of light that warms our skin, and then there's the wavelengths of light that can give us sunburns, the ultraviolet lights. Uh, and we can view those different wavelengths of light through technology. It's represented here in different colors to help us to see the difference. But we can see that different wavelengths of light can highlight different features on the sun, like solar flares and rivers of plasma. Another kind of uh, technology we can use to observe the sun is through x-rays. Uh, if you've ever gone to the dentist uh, to get your teeth x-rayed or had a broken bone and gone to the doctor, they used x-rays to view those bones. Uh, and the sun gives off that wavelength of light. And when we see that, we can see, when we observe the sun through x-rays, we can see those bright flashes of solar flares, which is really fun. So all of that energy and those different wavelengths of light reach our Earth and give us the light and heat that we need to survive and to have all those different kinds of life on our beautiful planet. Thanks so much for joining us at the Clark Planetarium.